is it? Let me guess. Tuesday lunchtime. No, you've done all your shopping on Monday, all your tins and whatnot. So I'm reasoning that what's in that pot is half a tin of Heinz's tomato soup. There you are. You happy? <laughs> now piss off, Mrs. Poirot. Charming. Where's in? Are you getting a third degree, eh? Huh? Aye. She's always there. Can't get past her. <laughs> She's like a bastard in Harry Krishna. Used to took the lid off that pot and threw the soup round about her. <laughs> I would have done, but it's not hot enough. It's a bona fide scalding. She's needing nosy cow. <laughs> I mean, seriously, but. I mean, how many times out of ten is it that you get across that landing without her interfering in your bloody business? Out of ten? <laughs> Two. Three, maybe. Hey, right, Jack. What garbage are we watching today? Sasha. Uh, see, that fella there, right, brought up with his sister. Turns out it's the mother, and he's had a ride at her into the bargain. Uh, it's a mess. Uh... Boy meets more, boy shags more, boy loses more. I love a simple tale. Well, it's either that or the wee fat lassie that sells you the houses in Spain, you know? <laughs> Ooh! What's that, Jack? I hear, Victor, don't touch that. That's, um, that's a thing, me. A what, me? A uh, remote control for the, um, what do you call it, the dish, the sky thing. When did you get Sky? Uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, my Fiona got it for me. She's paying for it. I said no, but she insisted. Ach, it's got millions of buttons on it. Jesus, Jack, you've got about 150 channels and you make us watch a bunch of inbred bastards fighting. Just leave it. You'll just end up running up a bill. Oh, no, it doesn't work that way. See, Big Arthur's got this, you know. It's a package you get, one payment you. You watch what you like. Uh, if you want to say that right enough, I can't no bothered. Uh, we'll get bothered with it, Jack. This is the bollocks. Menu. Right, you've got the lot here. Will you just leave it? What is that? White heat. White heat? That's not supposed to be on the day. <laughs> it's, it's, it's no, but it's on your sky. Yeah, it's on another one. Oh, <laughs> that's a high chaparral. Christ, that's not been on for years. i leave it there. No. <laughs> oh, Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter. Oh, 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 you've you've got wildlife 24 hours a day. Yeah. That's smashing. <laughs> you jammy bastard. I'm moving in. <laughs> What's this? UK gold. Oh, that's an old treasure. I've seen this one. That boy there gets his cock bit off by a rockweiler, but the owners are refusing to have the dug destroyed, eh? He's old. Mm -hmm. That boy there sitting there with no cock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you watch this? Aye. <laughs> Bloody shagging his maw. <laughs> <sighs> Margaret and Thomas, come in. Thanks, Dad. God, it's bloody freezing in here. Oh, how have you not got your fire on? You feeling it cold, are you? I'm roasting. Are you? Eh? No, I'm actually freezing. But if I tell myself I'm roasting, it's not so bad. <laughs> right, what's all this about? Oh, what's it always about him? What have you done this time, you wee arsehole? <laughs> Drinking parties, smoking dope. We warned him. If he didn't wrap it, he wasn't going to Blackpool with us. Seven o'clock he came in this morning. That's it. We go in the morning and he's no coming. So there's a spare seat? Happy days. I'll come to Blackpool with you. <laughs> you can stay here, son. Knock yourself out. Should he bite? Listen, Dad, we need you to look after him. No way. You can stick that right up your ass, Margaret. <laughs> I've done all that already. You and Brian. I'm supposed to be in my twilight years, enjoying myself. I could be doing without looking after that cheeky monkey. It's not just that. Gary and I need this break. We're not getting on. Well, how long are you away for? Just a week. A week? What am I meant to do with him for a week? Take him to the bloody zoo? I need to keep on top of him, keep an eye on him. Oh, please. <sighs> right, fine, but I'm the boss. Aye. What I say goes... Of course. Right, well, you'd better get away and do your packing. Oh, thanks, Dad. You must be right chuffed with yourself, doing yourself out a holiday. I'm no bothering. Aye, 
lassies, shagging, pubs, Blackpool's shite, isn't it? Right, <laughs> spare room through there. Go and dump your stuff. Let's lay the ground rules straight away. This is my house, and as such, the rules laid down in my house should be obeyed at all times. Any breach of said rules will result in a swift kick in the tadger, <laughs> and your mum and dad will be grass too. You'll find me hard but fair. If you keep your head down, your nose clean will get along just fine. But know this, I run a tight ship, not a shite tip. <laughs> You'll be expected to muck in. You're a black sheep, Thomas. But if you play your cards right, you could be a graceful swan. Oh, a boot camp. That's how it's going to be, son. Day the world are good. Victor, come on. Enough's enough. Now, just give me 20 more minutes, Jack boy. This Arctic wolf hasn't had a meal in eight weeks. He's about to catch a rabbit. A rabbit, eh? Well, why don't you hop into your own house? Because I'm bloody knacker. Oh, what? Well, I mean, you've been watching it all day. Enough's enough. Come on, that's plenty. What are you doing going to your bed at this time for, anyway? Well, I always go to my bed at half ten. You're the late bed, and I like to go to bed early. Makes me perky in the morning. <sighs> ah, well, fair dues. Fair enough, Jack. You get to your bed and I'll just guess the end of my programme. Ah, well, I'm sorry I know that, but you know. <sighs> oh, you're quite right. I'm being a leech. Taking liberties. You've got Sky and I've no. <laughs> I'll have a salute. <laughs> Night. <laughs> Who am I? Who's that asshole? Chuck. Isa. Here's Shug to see you. I can see that, Isa. Aye, and he's got his tool bag with him. Hmm. That's because I asked him to bring it with him, Isa. Come on, Shug. Hmm. Oh, it's a bastard, isn't it, Isa? It's a bastard. The mystery. The tool bag. Oh, what can Shug be doing up at Jack's door with a tool bag? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, what is it you're trying to do here, eh? Well. Victor's maintaining if we run a wire for that satellite box to his television through that wall there, right, he'll get cable as well. Would that work? Aye. Oh, magic! Aye, aye, but you'd have to watch what Jack was watching because you've only got the one signal, you see? And if he changed his channel, it would change yours. Ugh, right enough. That's shite. How's it shite? Cos that's all you watch, isn't it? Shite. Shite. Oh, you watch is shite. Prefer my own shite to your shite. Are you having this bloody cable or not? Well, I, Jack, but I mean, picture the scene, you know. Jaws, the last five minutes, right? I'm on the edge of my seat, in my own house script. The shark's bearing down on the chief of police. He's got one bullet left, one last chance to kill it. He looks down the barrel. He cocks the gun. Boof. Boof? What happens? I don't know, Jack. I'll never know, cos you've turned it over to QVC. <laughs> Let me make one thing perfectly clear, Victor. I am the principal viewer. I have the remote. I am in control. That thing there is at my behest. You, however, well, you are the secondary viewer. Of lower importance, if you will. <laughs> if you don't like that... I don't like it. Tell you what, Shug. Key jack the cable, Jack. Roll it up and stick it up your ass. Oh, behave yourselves. You're like a pair of bloody wings. Look, why don't I put a hatch through there. What for? Well, that way you'll be able to talk to each other. Rationally, you know, uh, coordinate your viewing. Victor, if you want Jack to change the channels, you just have to step up to the hatch and ask. Oh, that sounds good, eh? We could buy, buy one paper. I could pass it to you. Hmm, could take turns at making tea and sandwiches and that. I could pass you soup through the hatch. I wouldn't have to meet eyes on the landing. We could communicate without even leaving the house. Shug, keys a hatch. Nice wee hatch. 
Not <laughs> <laughs> bad, eh? Oh, oh it's a good thing, eh? Yes. It's smart. <laughs> uh, do you think it's a bit big? Eh, uh, no. <laughs> I didn't realise that. The bricks were going to come away. Is that easy? Oh, it's, it's better to have a door, you know. Gives you better options. Right, Lazarus. Get up, you lazy bastard. Out your wanking chariot. Oh, what time is it? 6.45. There's captains of industry have closed world-breaking deals by this time in the morning. Oh, I'm, I'm knackered. Come on, I'm off here. Listen, son. A boy your age should be up and about. Not wasting the day away. There's things to be done. Oh, aye. What are you doing today? Never you mind what I'm doing today. I'm an old man. You see this big fat beard belly here? I've earned it. I'm a pensioner. I've got every right to loaf about. You have me. The boy should be up and seize the day. Get yourself busy. Get a job. Morning, hen. Now, you see, when I was you, Jesus! <laughs> Just hoovering up there, there's still a lot of dust coming off it. Aye, aye, that'll settle. <sighs> Time did you get your bed last night? Oh, quarter to one. Oh, there was a good bit Davis picture on last night. Oh, she was a right bastard in it, too. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I was thinking, do you know what we should do? What's that? We should get a pair of curtains, one on either side, just in case, if for any reason, that the councillor up here sniffing about. Aye, aye, that's a good call. We'll pop into Kelvin House. They've got nice stuff. Aye, aye, we'll do that, aye. Oh, God. What's the matter with you? I've got a boil kicking after my arse. Is it any bloody wonder doing 12 hour shifts in front of the television? You're sweating it, man. <laughs> yeah, any cream? Eh, hey, through by. Oh, or should I say, through by. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah? It's a top shelf there. Oh, Isa. Morning, Jack. What is it? Is that Victor? What's Victor doing in your house at seven o'clock in the morning? Eh, uh, he came across for butter, a line of butter. Where is this ice cream, Jack? Certainly, <laughs> sir. What's it doing? Eh, uh, it's your turn to mop the land, and, and I was just wondering if you wanted me to do it. Aye, that would be smashed. That'd be very good of you, Isa. Mop the land, and. Is that it? Oh, that's it. Thank you, mate. Who's that? Isa. Who else would have done? <laughs> Listen, take a look at this, Jack. It's getting bigger. Is it ready? Pop. Oof. That's like crack a tour, that. Isn't it? Oof. It's a cracker right enough. It's an absolute belter. Yes, please. <laughs> Aye, right. Squeeze your in, manky boil. <laughs> Calm down, Isa. Oh, Calm down. <laughs> Brett. Leave Brett. <laughs> Jesus, Nafid, what are you doing? It's OK, Tam. I've seen this before. It's gossip overload. In. Out. In. Out. You OK now? Hi. Fine. No, hi. OK. Now, I'm going to remove the bag slowly. OK? <laughs> Eyes. Victor stayed the night at Jack's. I saw him this morning and he's jam jams. Don't talk shit, eyes. How does that make them gay? But I saw me of Natic, it's worse. What else did he say? Well, Victor was bent over. Jack was standing behind him. Did the dirty business. You saw that? But my own eyes, as God is my witness. How did you see that? Through the letter box. Through the letter box. What are you doing looking through the letter box? Day looking through the letter box, watching one old pal pumping the other. I know I'm a nosy bastard, but try to concentrate on the picture. Sounds pretty conclusive. Jack and Victor. Jesus. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? It's quite simple. We lure them into the shop, bludgeon them to death, 
cut off their bars and hang them from those street lamps as a warning. That kind of felt will no be tolerated in Craig Lang. Every day in use, cunt, No, you dozy cow. We live and let live. We certainly don't poke our bastard noses through letter boxes. <laughs> so hot. Jack and Victor are gay. Big deal. Good luck to them. Eyes up. Normally, I would just let you go on me or gossiping. I would take nothing to do with it. But this is too big. How are we divvying it up? Eh, how, how do you mean? Well, I want to tell the cafe, the clansmen and the bookies. No, I want the cafe, the doctors and the bingo. I'll tell Minna. Minna! Hey, girl, Sunday. Jack the Victor, Bunyani! <laughs> boys will be boys. He's a bit of a wild stallion, is all, but he's up against the horse whisperer here. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Eh? Right, OK. Well, I'll see you when you get back. OK, bye-bye. Grandad. Hello, son. I, I thought you were down at the bookies. Ah, well, I was, aye, but I had a wee bit of a win and I didn't want to piss it all up against the wall, so I just... Here, come here. What's that? Uh, it's just a plant. What sort of plant? It's a... Uh, a tomato plant. And what are you wanting with that? Uh, it's a gift for you. I mean, I just wanted to apologise for this morning, you know, with Tina and that. Well, that's good of you. So, eh, uh, where's the tomatoes? Oh, they come later. The, the plant blooms first and then they grow. All right. Well, that's smashing, that. I'll put that in the kitchen on the windowsill. It'll be lovely. Aye. Apology accepted. Christ, you'd never think that thing could grow tomatoes. It looks just like a weed. <laughs> <laughs> Sad, Bobby. Are you getting curtains, are you? No, no. Oh, we're getting curtains. Ah, I can see that. <clears throat> Tom was uh, in the Klansman last night and told us that you were both, um, you guys were, um, that you were. Which is great. <laughs> so, uh, we're saying, um, uh, What are you saying, Bobby? I'm saying that the Klansman is for everybody. Right. So, you know, so you know, I, I just want you both to know that when you come in, you'll get served. That's good. No, you will be served. And furthermore, you will be treated like human beings. Thanks, Bobby. Aye. By the way, I think it's great you guys have come out. Ah, it's, it's, it's uh, good to get out. Oh, <laughs> 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 it's great. What's great? <laughs> Look at me, they've been... I've always wanted to be a fag hag. Who's <laughs> <laughs> a fag hag? Is it no one of the lassies that hang about... Either. Mop. Floor. No. <laughs> What can I do for you, gentlemen? Uh, two ounces of drum. Hundig uh, mina, soft this done, eh? I mean, no pella kyonet this year. I don't know gandu ne. Kon kise no denda the kon lenda. Let me save one of it. I've got a right sore arse. What's that you must just hold, huh? What? Nothing. <laughs> oh, what in the name of Christ is going on here? Thomas, who are these wee assholes? These mates. Oh, those oh, shiftless bastards together, eh? Oh, you bastard. What the hell are you doing in my kitchen? But my finger cooking cookies in your cooker. Right, you lot. Get off your asses and sling your hook. Can I go yet? Cookies are still cooking in your cooker. <laughs> See you, you fanny craddock. I'll cook you. Now get out of my house and get my good titty apron off. <laughs> oh, they might give him a half ten minutes for them to be just. Oh, look what you've done. All that smoke's killed my tomato plant. <laughs> right, here they come. Now remember, try and act as normal as possible. These guys are your friends. Nothing has changed. Right? 
Hey ho. What is for? Um, <clears throat> two goldies, Bobby. Just set in the atmosphere. And now they guys. Well, I hope you lot are proud of yourselves, huh? Well, you might well stand there and say nothing, you wee bastard. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry? Sorry doesn't even begin to cover it. You're more and I come back in two hours and I have to say the report card is not looking good. At every turn and corner, I've given you an inch and you're taking a mile. Och, I had two pies in here for my dinner. Where are they? We ate them. You ate my dinner? <sighs> Bloody cookies for a grown man's dinner. They're Davos cookies, Granda. Ah, well, Davo isn't he here, is he? <laughs> Oh, you're smashing. <laughs> a glass of milk with him, that'd be lovely. <sighs> Bloody queer day. <laughs> hey, it was. Hmm. Bloody eyes and a clansman. Oh, my God. What? We've been running a boot with our heads up our arses. It's as plain as a nose in your face. Bobby's gay. <laughs> of course, aye. The music and the dancing, aye. He's a... He's gay. Aye, he's gay. Oh, well, good for him, eh? Aye. Tom. Ah, Jack. I'm glad you're in. This is Mick. All right, wee man. Hello, eh, hey, Mick. I'm sorry about that carry on earlier on in the pub there. It's a wee bit awkward for us, you know. Aye, aye, aye. We just tippled there, didn't we? Aye, come on, come on. <laughs> well, you'll know I've met Mick. Uh, no, we haven't, no. Hello. He lives up my next block. Aye, Eagle Heights. That's a nice clean block, that, Eagle. Got a few tins. <laughs> Thought we could have a wee drink. <laughs> oh, satellites I've got, eh? Aye, that's, uh, that's right, yes. What's that? Oh, that's a curtain we put up. That a door through to Victor's, is it? Uh, <clears throat> that's aye. That's good, that, eh? So you could just go back and forward, eh? Aye, we can, aye. Oh, jeez, is that the time? I'll need to go. Um, Mick? I'm fine, Tom. I don't have to go. <laughs> OK. Well, then. Cheerio. Well, what are we doing? Just uh, having a can of beer. No, I mean, we're through here or through there. Um, here? Is that all right? Aye, that's fine. We'll finish these, then we'll have a wee jug. <laughs> Oh, here's your 
Jimmy's jamming. Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy's jamming. <laughs> Bobby, four more pints of lager. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, fellas. I was only trying to help. Eyes are telling me you were gay. Eyes are. <laughs> she said she'd seen Beth using the van hoose in your pyjamas at seven o'clock in the morning. That's a good one right enough, eh? It's all Craig Lang thinks we're gay. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, uh, did you actually think we were gay? Well, two guys, they women. The same hoose. You just could be gay. <sighs> aye. I suppose we could be gay, aye. Obi. Come in any time. You'll be welcome, eh? You'll be made to feel like human beings. Eh? Let's just see, shall we? <clears throat> Victor. Oh, we? Jack. Ach. I think I'll go for a pee. You know what? I'm needing a pee as well. <laughs> no, that's... That's too much. I'm not putting up with that. I mean, live and let live. But no in my lavies. Is that fun, you sweetheart? That's smashing, darling. Oh, that's Again. Oh, you bastard. What? Um, it's too hard, that. I don't know if I'm comfortable sitting between you two. Shut up. <laughs> I'm going to get you on. Oh, did you bring these cookies, Winston? Aye. Why then? 